Welcome to our video on strategies and actions scanning for specific information. In this video, we will be looking at some examples of how you can support your students as they gain mastery over your content while also helping them with the reading skill of scanning for information. To help me with our video today, we have Dr. Moon Cho. She is a visiting professor in the linguistics department at Ohio University and has years of experience with studying about EMI and teaching EMI courses, such as in math and statistics. Pay attention to the strategies that Dr. Cho uses for helping students with scanning. Welcome, Dr. Cho. Dr. Cho is going to demonstrate scanning activities with us today. When students scan for information, that means they are looking for specific information. Think about all the times you scan for information, no matter in what language. You scan for information when you read a menu and look for desserts. You scan for information when you read a journal article and are trying to find the results of a specific research question. You even scan for information when you review a list of TV shows or movies, trying to find the one that you are looking for. For our students, they need to be able to scan for information so that they can find information fast. Scanning does not mean reading carefully for main ideas. It means looking for specific information. One of the reasons it's important is because it helps good readers read quickly and for a purpose. Can you imagine if you wanted to have dessert at your favorite restaurant and you had to read every word carefully of the appetizers, salads, main dinners, and drinks before you got to the desserts? That would be very frustrating. It's better to scan and find what you need fast. Students need help with this, though. You can help them by training them to look for information and not read every word. For example, students can look for key words based on the information they need. Imagine our dessert example. You might look over the menu quickly to find the word chocolate. When you're scanning, you can also look for the shapes of words. Imagine the outline of the word dessert in your mind. There's a tall D at the beginning and a tall T at the end of the word. Imagining that can help you find the word. Another strategy is to guess where you think the information will be found. Most restaurants put the desserts at the end of the menu. So if you want a dessert, you go to the back. In academic reading, if you're looking for the results of a study, you go toward the end to find the results section and then scan that area for specific information. We can practice something together. I'm going to put up a text from a sociology textbook about the scientific method. But first, I'm going to tell you the information I want you to look for. As soon as I put up the text on the screen, try to find the information I asked you for as quickly as you can. That usually means you don't read the beginning of the paragraph word by word. Instead, you quickly look for keywords related to my question. Are you ready? Okay, here is the information I want you to look for. What does reliability mean? We'll look at the longer text together and then zoom into the part of it. Okay, did you get the answer quickly? We can see that reliability means if someone reproduces a study, how likely it is that the results will be the same. You probably noticed that the word reliability was bolded, which helped with scanning. 